Hello there and welcome to Changing EastEnders. Now, for weeks now I've been telling you about my EastEnders fiction Black Widow and this video has really consisted, consisted of that and telling you how I have been unhappy with the EastEnders for the past decade. Um, today, to balance it out, I'm going to talk about the positive things that I've liked about what Dominic Treadwell Collins has done since he's come in. Now, Dominic Treadwell Collins, when he first took over EastEnders, was taking over a big mess, a big mess, and it needed sorting out, and it couldn't have been easy. Um, I think that um, I, what I love about what he does is these, what he does, he does something very similar to what they do in America, with your arrows, with your flash, with your Grey's Anatomies. What he does, he comes up with an arc, a story that's going to dominate the whole year. So last year we had Who Killed Lucy, which dominated all of last year, and then you look at EE e. Live, EastEnders Live, which was the anniversary. You can judge that as, you can translate that into a season finale, as the Americans do. So in the season finale, we needed to find out who killed Lucy, and the build-up to all that, and, and that. Not a conclusion, by the way, because that story is still going on. But what the Americans also do in a lot of season finales is um, just uh, sew in what they're going to be doing in the next season. And Dominic Treadwell Collins did that as well in with the Kathy reveal and, um, and showing us a bit of Vincent as well. Um, so I love that aspect of um, having these yearly arcs. So, so this year it is Kathy and it is Vincent. And um, so I absolutely love th that what he does. And I also have absolutely adored what he's done with um, Kat and Alfie. I mean, from the fire to them having that nightmare and then them getting back together and winning the money and having the happy ending. Then all of a sudden, um, Alfie's got this um, mass in his brain, um, which is brilliant. And of course, that will continue on in the spin-off. So I think that's great. He, he's a man with some wonderful ideas. I haven't always appreciated everything he's done, um, but I'm not here to talk about that today. That's for other videos. Today we're talking about the positive things that he's done. That he's one thing's for sure. He's an EastEnders fan, which is brilliant. Uh, it's brilliant. Um, now the characters that he's brought in, um, I'm still not feeling the Carters as much as I should. Um, Danny Dyer as Mick was a no-brainer. That was pretty obvious. Worked out really well. He he he's got a great screen presence and uh, chemistry with Linda Henry. Um, but then who would, I mean, Linda's just brilliant, isn't she? I mean, uh, that's, that's, that's brilliant. I'm still not sure about Mick and Linda as a couple. Lee, Tina, um, just not, and, and Nancy, just not feeling them as much as I should. Um, maybe I will eventually, um, but maybe they're not there for the long haul. I don't know. But in the sense of Mick and Shirley, that's brilliant. I think um, bringing in Carl Hellman was genius. Always a big fan of Carl Hellman's as a kid, watching him in brush strokes. And he's he's matured into a really good actor, and I love that. Um, it's no secret that I wanted Dirty Den to be mixed dad. Um, that's what I've implemented in my fiction. Um, but it's it's all great stuff. Um, I think he's 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 been slowly moulding EastEnders to his his personality and what he wants. I also love Kush. I think Kush is a brilliant character. To me, Kush is a hero. T to me, Kush is a hero that's been chipped away at as well. Now, this affair with Stacy kind of contradicts that in a way, but even heroes can stray. I mean, and that's going to be a very interesting story. I still think that Lacey Turner's so talented. She could do a bit better than an affair story, but hey, that's the way it is. I'm sure it's still going to be very exciting. Um, he's just um, got some brilliant ideas. I mean, to be honest with you, the Kathy reveal was so shocking in a great way. I never thought anyone would bring Kathy back. But there, there's the thing, isn't it? Um, he's an EastEnders fan. And I've said for years, Kathy should never have been killed off. Angie should never have been killed off. Cindy should never have been killed off. And so many more. He's, he's, what he's done, at least with that, he's, he's righted a wrong, hasn't he? Definitely. And it's amazing that Gillian's coming back. And apparently she didn't even know she was coming back. He'd actually um, told Adam Waddy about it before he even told her about it. 
which is awesome. I love these little tidbits from behind the scenes and these kind of meetings they have. It's all very exciting because that's the world I want to be a part of. Um, and he's done those things right. He's brought a little bit more excitement to the show. I still think the show needs more character. East Dennis has lacked character for many years now, and that's something I would like to see more of. But maybe, as we go on, that will be developed. So, I'm actually enjoying EastEnders again. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing happens to kind of put me off again. Um, as you all know, I'm, develop I'm developing my, uh, my online soap. It's called Darewood. At the moment, I'm trying to get sponsors, on, and I'm developing the story. One of the stories that I'm actually developing is... I've always wanted the soap to do a story about a young teenage girl who becomes successful, becomes famous... And at first, uh, she's famous and she's happy, and she's a you know she's a pop star, and then she and then her fame becomes a nightmare. And I want to see I want to see the social media element. I want to do I want to implement the social media element of being famous. I want to show what a cutthroat what cutthroat world it is. I, I just I want to see all sides of it. So I want to kind of yeah I want to see the good. The bad. I want to see the bad things about a young girl who's not doesn't belong in this world, um, being in this world, and then and then we get to the bad, and then in the end, the decision that she has to make. The decision. I mean, she'll be so devastated by what's going on with her. She's just not used to being famous, and I, I want to put a little thing in where she attempts suicide. It's going to be a whole story. Normally in a soap, if someone becomes famous, it's a happily ever after. And you wouldn't see that character again, would you? Not that I can remember any character actually being famous in a soap before. But this is different. I want to show a rags to riches, and then the negative side, and then the end game of the story. This would probably last a couple of years. But I think it's really important for young people to understand that being in the entertainment industry, or even being a... You know, a big time sports star, it comes with consequences, some good, some bad. And I want to show all the sides of the coin before people get involved in the industry because I think it's important to have your eyes open. And so that's what I'm looking to do. What is really important about this story I'm developing for my online soap, Darewood, is that the character is made really likeable she has to be really likeable you have to love her this is a proper cinderella story a proper rocky story and like rocky he becomes successful then rocky five he loses everything and he goes full circle and this is the kind of story i want to do here and of course this will be very apparent and very and very hit it will be a t you know obviously about a teenage girl and i think that's important but i, I want to make her likeable and i want I want people to like her. Um, yeah, so I, I just want to show all sides of this story and what this character will go through. And obviously, it will have to be a very special young actress uh, to be playing this part. But this is all early days at the moment. This is just one of the stories that I'm working on. Um, at the moment, really difficult for me to get sponsors. Understandably, I've got no experience. Um, it will be... A big undertaking. I don't know of I'm sure if there are online soaps. I don't know of them. If you do, let me know and let me know how they went about things. But this will be properly done, and that's why I need proper funding. Um, but at the moment, that's that's where I am there. Um, thanks for watching the video. See you later. Bye bye.